Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 21 for our 40 gate firewall series. In this video, we are going to understand how file filtering works in 40 gate firewall. Right? So in this video, we are going to cover how what is file filtering? How does it work exactly? How to configure file filtering for in 40 gate firewall? As well as how to verify it, how we can check the logs or some kind of troubleshooting method. Okay. So I'll request you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand what is file filtering and you will be able to do or implement in your real life scenario. Okay. As well as it will be helpful for interview as well, because most of the time the interviewer might ask you related to file filtering. So you should know about it. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll understand what is file filtering. Okay. So file can be a different types. It can be a doc file. Okay. Like a document or it can be an image, it can be a video, it can be song, it can be a software, something like that. Or maybe we will be having some kind of extension. For an example, PDF document will be there. For image, we have JPG. For video, we have MP4, right? For MP3 songs and other type of let's say exe file for our software so like if we download some kind of any uh, any disk we will be having some kind of extension right to install our executable files right so for an example if an attacker is uploading some file <clears throat> to internal server okay now during the uploading the file it may be an pdf file or it may be an exe file or some kind of files he is uploading to the server now with that particular file, if he is attaching some kind of extension or the file which is basically not allowed in that particular server or it, it is not allowed in our environment. In that case, what will happen? The firewall will come into the picture and it blocks that particular traffic. Otherwise, that server might be compromised and the user who is accessing that particular server will not be able to access those resources because it may be compromised. Now we'll reverse the. So let's say it's not an act attacker, it's a user and it's not a server, it's a public server. Now this server is a this server is a vulnerable server now this user is he went and he is trying to download some kind of software to his pc to install some kind of application okay might be for an example putty or maybe any desk okay now as he is not downloading from a proper website he is downloading from some other website because he is not much aware he is not a IT engineer or he is a very much uh, a user okay he is not having that much knowledge about IT okay so in that case if he is not downloading from proper website that web that particular uh, files or the software might be having some kind of issues okay so for that reason we are going to restrict some of the file type in our organization right i might block exe files i might block pdf files so with the help of file filtering we can achieve this goal okay so this is where the file filter will come into the picture and it serves it okay so how does it work basically okay now let's say it's not an attacker it's a an user okay and it's a public server where this server is basically a vulnerable server okay now this user whenever he tries to download that kind of files so let's say pdf file 
file is blocked in our environment when he tries to download the file that particular traffic will go via firewall okay now we have created the particular policy that pdf file should not be allowed okay so in that case if somebody is downloading or if, if a user is downloading something from internet which has an extension of pdf basically it inspect that particular traffic and it checks because that particular feature will be enabled in the firewall and he'll start checking what is there what kind of file the user is downloading so once he gets that it's a extension file is a pdf file then it's try to block the traffic basically okay so basically this is the way it tries to block the file downloading or uploading okay so guys let's move on to the fortigate uh, to the lab basically and we'll try to see how to configure how to verify it okay so let's jump into the lab okay so this is our lab so let's understand the topology it's very easy one so this is our lan this is our internet and this is our mgmt so i'll be con uh, configuring the fortigate firewall from our local pc okay and from this machine we are going to test whether we will be able to download any file uh, with the extension which we are going to block for an example pdf file okay so we'll see that and uh, we'll see how to configure in the fortigate firewall so i have already configured the ip addressing part on port 2 port 3 and port 1 i have already configured the ip addressing we just need to configure the file filtering uh, configuration and we have to perform the policy creation and adding that particular file filtering into the policy that's all i we have to do and then we have to test the connection from this test machine okay so let's go into the dashboard of fortigate so guys uh, this is our dashboard okay this is how the dashboard looks like okay now what we have to do is as uh, i'll just show you guys that i have already configured the interfaces okay so all the interfaces are already configured so for configuring file filtering we have to go to security profiles okay and you have to click on file filtering you will be seeing a default policy which we are not going to change anything we'll create a new one okay so we'll just name name it as pdf block why i'm choosing pdf file because i can get a lot of pdf files online to test it so that is the reason i'm just choosing pdf file instead of that you can choose any other files as well okay this feature type will be flow based not proxy based okay create a new rule now here also i'll just put pdf block right now these are the protocols which will be applicable even for your email as well if somebody is sending that particular pdf it will be blocked okay now here the traffic it can be in incoming it can be outgoing and it can be both as well okay now if only the password protected files or without password protected files so you can specify that as well here you need to define the file type there are so many file types okay so for right now we are just going to define the pdf okay for mp3 okay and we are going to mp4 okay mp4 looks like and 7z and any other whatever we think of torrent file and all those things okay so for now we just need to close this and what action that you want to take you are going to block it right and click ok so now we are good to create that particular we have created the file filtering profile basically and we have to go to policy and we have to create a new policy basically okay so we create a new policy we'll name it as file i'll just name it like that okay so the traffic should be coming from port 2 or uh, uh, and it is going to port 3 so we'll select port 3 now my source will be all my destination will be all 
and service will be all i'm just putting at all all right now okay and the, the inspect will be flow based nat will be enabled with the interface okay and here we have to enable the file where we need to check the file uh, ft uh, pdf file okay and here we are just going to enable the deep inspection because we if it is a ssl connection then we have to basically dig down and we need to find it out for detail understanding there is upcoming video that i am i am creating for deep un inspection for ssl how exactly it works we will we'll see in that particular video in upcoming video for now i am not going to explain anything regarding that okay and we are going to log all the session to see how men uh, whether how it is getting blocked okay and that's all we are not going to capture anything we just need to enable the policy okay so this is how we have created the file filtering policy we have created the profile and we have called that particular profile into this rule okay now we'll go to this test machine and we'll try to test it okay so guys let's open this test machine okay well uh, we have already configured the ip addresses so let's take take a look at ip config and we are good okay whether we are having the dns okay where dns is also configured whether we are able to go to internet or not okay so basically this will be there uh the reason behind this is because it's doing a deep inspection okay so deep inspection will have a self signed certificate i'll explain what is self signed certificate so to get rid of this basically what you have to do is you just need to reload it once again so it's not happening in the chrome so we'll change the browser and we'll try with firefox now okay so no and we'll try to go to google.com okay now here the google is working we'll try to find a pdf file so pdf file download okay and we'll see where from where we can download the pdf so it's still loading i guess so now we'll try to find out from where we can download any pdf file okay i can see some pdf over here we'll try to download it okay so as you can see it is not downloading now like it is the download should be happening but it is not happening so let's go into log and profile and we have to go to where we have to go to file filter okay now as you can see over here is it's a pdf file and it is blocked with the filter name pdf okay so as you can see it's a https service and there are lot more other things as well uh, when we were up uh, like uh, refreshing the page it was not happening because it was blocking some of the files as well okay so if you see over here when we started downloading the dummy.pdf the dummy.pdf it is not it is getting blocked okay so this is how you are going to block any file in fortigate firewall it's very very easy you can configure and it's very safe as well so whatever your company allows you to uh, basically the files inside your organization you can allow or you can block all other file types so you can achieve by doing the file filtering for ticket firewall so guys this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any suggestion for my video you can comment it down or you can also comment down whether you have done any blocking or any file blocking in for ticket firewall or whether you are facing any kind of issues as well okay and for the suggestion you can uh, reach out to me uh, on email or um, instagram message or maybe you can uh, 
talk to me on facebook messenger as well all the links are there in this description box or you can go to the about section of the channel you can find all those links okay and i'll request you please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you so much for watching this till the end i'll see you in the next